Welcome to Excel Deploy. In this video, we'll look at how Excel Deploy works with WebSphere Application Server. First, let's see how deployment to WebSphere is done. In a WebSphere network deployment setup, you use a deployment manager to manage nodes. Nodes are where servers are installed. You can also organize servers in logical groupings called clusters. Artifacts such as ERA files can be deployed to servers or clusters, and resources such as data sources and JMS queues can be defined for nodes, servers, or clusters. To deploy an application, you would log in to the WebSphere Administrative Console, manually upload files, and manually configure resources. Now let's see how you would deploy an application to WebSphere using Excel Deploy. Everything that you define in Excel Deploy, from applications to infrastructure, is a configuration item. A configuration item's type determines the properties that you can set for it and the way that Excel Deploy will deploy it. So, you define your deployment manager as a was.deploymentManager configuration item type. The configuration item contains properties of the deployment manager, such as the directory where it is installed. It also contains the credentials needed to access the WebSphere command line interface. Nodes are defined as was.nodeAgent configuration items. Servers are defined as was.managedServer configuration items. And clusters use the was.cluster configuration item type. Resource configurations that should be deployed to nodes, clusters, and servers are also stored in configuration items. There are many different configuration item types available for resources. One example is was.j2c resource adapter spec. Excel Deploy copies artifacts such as ear files to clusters and servers. The configuration item type for ear files is was.ear. In Excel Deploy, your application is contained in a deployment package. This package contains the ear file, resource specifications, and any other artifacts or resources that are needed. In Excel Deploy terminology, the artifacts and resources in a deployment package are called deployables. To recap, here are was.deploymentManager, was.nodeAgent, was.cluster, and was.managedServer configuration items. And here are was.ear and was.j2c resource adapter spec configuration items. Excel Deploy deploys the resource specification to the node, server, and or cluster, and deploys the ear file to the server and or cluster. Whether Excel Deploy deploys to a node, server, or cluster depends on which of these are assigned to the particular environment that you're deploying to. Excel Deploy also includes advanced features like tagging to help you customize what is deployed where. For example, this deployment is set up so that Excel Deploy maps the resource specification to a node and a cluster and maps the ear file to a cluster. These mapped deployables are called deploys. In the properties of the resource deployed, you can see the values that Excel Deploy will send to WebSphere. And in the properties of the ear file deployed, you can see the many properties that you can set for the application. For example, you can set virtual hosts and web servers. These correspond to the properties that you would normally set manually in the WebSphere Administrative Console. Now, let's deploy the application. First, Excel Deploy deploys the resource to the node and cluster, then synchronizes the node. Then, it deploys the ear file to the cluster and synchronizes the node again. Finally, it starts the application, and the deployment is complete. Excel Deploy's Discovery feature allows you to automatically discover your WebSphere application server infrastructure. You simply provide some basic information so Excel Deploy can query WebSphere, and Excel Deploy discovers the topology. You can save everything as configuration items with a single click. For more information about Excel Deploy and WebSphere, visit our documentation site at docs.zvlabs.com.